Hey guys and gals, Chartreuse here, bringing you some of our Minecraft Redstone today. Today we're in the snapshot, or well, the pre-release, 1.8. And uh, we're taking a look at some uh, hopper based ship registers. I'm sure someone's got to have done these before, but it's, they don't seem to be too common. Now, like a ship register, basically, if you don't know what it is, it will... You have, uh, like, a bunch of uh, outputs here, and... Every time you pulse this clock, the current state of them will shift one to the right. I'll just demonstrate that here by putting a one in our input, which is inverted, don't worry about that. And you can see it moves there. So now, as I press this button, they shift over to the right. It's a shift register, it stores that data without any intervention. Now this is a one-wide design, so everything's right beside each other, so it's not practical for everything. But you can uh, convert this into an every other if you do, if you don't, if you either increase the pulse length to enough for it to jump two hoppers at a time and don't use every other, or you wire it in a weird way so that you're only every powering every other one. So maybe we'll do that at the end. I'll show you one I make like that. But as for here, we're using 20 hoppers to get an 8-bit eight, eight output. 8-bit uh, output. So you can see ones that are on have an item in them and the ones that are off don't. So whenever we press this button, it turns this off for just enough time for the bit, the item in here, to go over to the one to the right of it. And it will shift over and everyone will do that. And once it gets to the end one here, after it gets shifted out of here, it goes into just a little cycle here that brings it all the way back to our holding, uh, holding one. Now I have 64 in here that I think you can get away with 16 is the minimum items, but more doesn't hurt. All you need is enough to go a full circuit around so this thing always has an item in it, so even at the maximum clock rate, this will just keep going. You'll get them all back in here. You just have to count for the time, so it's not, big, not a big deal. So this is a fairly simple circuit, it's not the first one I came up with. But they're just all arranged in a cycle here. They all point to their, well, I can't, well, they all point clockwise. The other circle here. And this last one here is the special one. It is being held in place with this one. And on a pulse, you can see this repeater goes low from the pulse and tries to bring down this, this line. And if you have this lever off, or, well, no power going extra into there, then this will... That pulse will allow this this hopper to transfer one item into here and shift the first byte in. Uh, let's put a button on this side so I can show you. So one item came off here, went in here, and that's our first bit. So we're shifting to the right with this one. You can build it to the left, just reverse the cycle, and put this stuff on the other side. So you can use any type of monostable here. I just chose this one because it's silent. This is a completely silent design. So is that one, technically, too. I'll show you that in a second. But yeah, and if this lever is on, that stops this line from ever going low, so when you shift, no item comes out of here and you get a zero in. So that's that's a fairly simple shift register. It's quite nice. It's, if you're building this in survival, it's really expensive because of all the iron in this. So I wouldn't recommend it for anything in survival, unless you have a lot of iron already. But for a little uh, project, it's actually a pretty decent shift register. Fairly simple circuitry to power it. Not much redstone in it. Yeah, and here's the other design. Uh, it was the one I was building as I went along. For some reason, I thought of going downward level to do stuff, and that just made it harder until I realized I had to just put it all on one level there. This one uses uh, two uh, droppers here feeding into each other. This one points up into here, and that shoots into there. And it's the same basic circuit. Um, the only difference is that output is invert. Is the well, yeah, you have to have a torch here to invert that line because we're pulsing this with an on instead of an off, off like that. Same thing, the lever is still backwards because of just how it was built. But this one you want to keep roughly equal amounts in both of the droppers. Otherwise, you'll have a tick sound when the bottom one's empty and trying to feed up and the top one's off. Top, uh, the top one has stuff in it, and so the bottom one will make a click. But to show you, this one works in the same way, so let's send a, put a one on, one on, zero on, one on, zero on. You can see it's a little slower, this one, because of the 
difference the repeater uh, the, yeah ever the um, yeah repeater and the torts here make it a little slower to send this pulse through it's not bad though and I think you can free, you can free one this one as well works just fine and because of that free run all this thing the bottom part is gonna pile up more than the top whereas yeah the bottom one this one I th think there's a way of uh, filling the bottom up if faster than the top will empty uh, I'm not sure though but it, it seems to work same thing mono stable input and gate here well yeah I guess it's technically an and gate with inverted inputs here and that gives us another shift register so let's just do a quick test see if we can do in every other one let's just we're just gonna break the repeaters even though the comparators will still come on and to do so we'll have to change this mono stable because we need a longer pulse that's gonna probably set it free running but who cares um or that should be enough okay so now let's shift ones in Yep, yeah, you can see that's now shifting ones in. Though it has a bit of flicker as it shifts along. This one's not timed stable like that one, but it works. Faster one. But, yeah. Works quite nicely. Simple design. I think it'll be quite useful. Anyway, it's been Chartreuse. Have a nice day.